Welcome back friends to your Tech Handy channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to timely get new video updates. You can't do much with a computer these days without network connectivity. Whether you need to update the packages on a server or simply browse external websites from your laptop, you will need network access. This guide aims to provide Rocky Linux users the basic knowledge on setting up network connectivity. The method will be same for Red Hat and CentOS. We will attempt to walk you through the use of Network Manager using Network Manager TUI and the latest changes within Rocky Linux 9. Before start you have to review some of the following prerequisites. You need to have certain amount of comfort operating from the command line. Require elevated or administrative privileges on the system. For example root or sudo. It's good to have some sort of familiarity with networking concepts. At the user level, the networking stack is managed by Network Manager. This tool runs as a service, and you can check its state with the following command. Let's verify current network configurations using IPA command. Run the nmtui command at the command line which should show you the following. It's already on the selection we need, edit a connection, hit enter. This will bring up a screen showing the Ethernet connections on the machine and allow you to choose one. In our case, there is only one, so it is already highlighted, we simply need to hit the tab key until Edit is highlighted and then hit Enter. Once we've done this, we will be to the screen that shows our current configuration. What we need to do is switch from automatic to manual so hit the tab key several times until you get to where IPv4 configuration automatic is highlighted and then hit enter. Arrow down until manual is highlighted and then hit enter. Once we have switched the interface over to manual, we need to assign static IP so hit the tab key until the show is highlighted beside IPv4 configuration and hit enter. Assign IP address, gateway, and DNS as per your current network. Set up the rest of the settings as per your environment need. Finally, hit the tab key several times until you get to the bottom of the NMTUI screen and the OK is highlighted, and hit enter. You can deactivate and reactivate your interface with NMTUI as well. It's required for your new configurations to take place. You can also change host name, if required. Let's verify new configured static IP address configurations. Thank you for your time and watching the video. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe to support us.